How's it going guys? This is Scott here with a little side-by-side -side comparison of uh, some Milwaukee products. Uh, here we have the XC Capacity M12 batteries. Uh, on the left we have the old uh, version of the XC battery. And as you can see the part number is 48-11-2402. And over here we have the newer version, the red lithium and if you notice the part number 48-11-2402 so they have the same exact part number and uh... really there's only a couple ways to identify them as being different the obvious one is it says red lithium XC and this one says lithium ion XC but uh... not only that if you flip the battery upside down and you look I can't get my camera to adjust. Oh, no, that's better. So if you flip it upside down and you look at the watt hours of the battery pack, uh, you can see here that this one says 28 watt hours. And that is the old pack. And the new one has 32 watt hours. So they they switch cells. They uh, went from they're still the 18650s. Obviously, they're the same size. There's still six of them. They just uh, switched to a higher capacity cell, uh, which I think is a Samsung uh, one and a half amp hour. And uh, I think they're the Q cells that push about 18 amps. So basically, uh, long story short, you don't want to purchase the wrong battery or. Uh, maybe get hoaxed into buying an XC battery and then they ship you an older version uh, you gotta watch out for it uh, I obviously made the mistake of ordering an older one that's why I have it here uh, the, it operates fine and it works fine and I'm sure the cells will last just as long uh, but I wanted to upgrade to the new red lithium since uh, my 18 volt set and everything it all uses the same I wanted it to match so I purchased the new one uh, I have another example actually right over here. I repaired this pack for one of the guys that I work with. As you can see it's a really old beat up uh, lithium Milwaukee pack but this is before they went to the red. This is actually one of the first packs, first runs of packs I should say. Uh, the part number is 48-11-1815 and you can see it has 23 watt hours and uh, here I have a new M18 red lithium and what does it say 48-11-1815 same part number but different battery and it has 27 watt hours so obviously the new cells gave it more uh, capacity which is a good thing but uh, Again, when you're purchasing these, make sure you don't fall for this. You see the side, it doesn't say red lithium. It's an older pack. It has older cells. They may be uh, old to the point where they're damaged. You know, they could have been sitting uh, with a low voltage and you can't even recover them. But I actually took this pack apart and I fixed it. And as you can see, it's back to working with four lights. I just got it off the charger and tested it with the. Uh, the 18 volt hammer drill and it's working ended up just being a couple of things there was a temp sensor issue and uh, the terminals needed to be cleaned and I basically just pulled it apart and put it all back together and everything's good all right, so I'm going to open this pack up real quick just to show you the inside of it because I've already had it apart tonight I pretty much fixed it off and you can see right here it has INR18650 cells they're the 13Q version and uh, having an N in the part number means uh, that I think this would be a lithium um, either manganese or uh, maybe a lithium nickel battery I'm not positive but uh, Samsung seems to be uh, 
pretty decent sell. I mean, they're not top rated. The it actually seems like almost all the other manufacturers have a higher amp draw on their cells. I think the Sony ones go 20 to 25 amps. The A123 cells go up to 30 amps of discharge. And uh, it seems like the Samsungs are between 15 to 18. But that's plenty of amperage. All of these batteries nowadays have little BMSs and protection anyway, so you're not going to damage your cells by drilling a big hole.